What is up, YouTube? As you guys can see, I'm going to title the video. I'm going to be dropping my own rankings just because I didn't like the committee's rankings from last week. And I want to do mines and see how accurate mines is to the real one. And as you guys can see, I got 14 teams because I'm doing two out, like how they do. Like they have the two teams that just missed it and then they got the, their 12. So I'm going to do my the two teams out and then I'm going to give you guys the. What I think, and my list is a little bit controversial, and y'all probably don't get some hate, but just because, for one, this team, they, they've been getting lucky for quite a while now, um, and they just lost to Kansas State, a bad football team, and they're supposed to be better than this, but they haven't really played anybody at all, and every the past three weeks, they've just been scraping by just by the since They've just been scraping by. We got the BYU. They're probably wondering, like, Trey, who's ahead of BYU? I'm not going to lie to you. This team lost to BYU, but they lost by a field goal. They literally lost by a field goal. The game was close. It was 18 to 15. I got SMU. I've been watching SMU games, and I do generally think SMU is a better football team than BYU. Like, if they played again today, I had BYU winning. Number 12, this is going to be a short video. Number 12, I got Colorado. I'm probably like, Trey, how was Colorado better than BYU? If you watch Colorado play, for one, just the fact that they went from 1-12 and 12 to 4-8 and eight to fucking potentially being 10-2, and two, they look like a better football team. And then they're just, they haven't just been winning their games recently. They've been blowing their opponents out. Like, they've been, they've been, the only thing that, the only problem with Colorado is that they let the team that they play like they've been playing down to the competition too like they let the team stay in the game like when they can just blow them out they could have really the get the score from yesterday could have been like 60 to like 10 or something it could have been 60 to 10 but they just be they be leaving up um travis on a guy beat they could have really beat the dog crap out of um utah yesterday and utah is the team that byu struggled against too by the way so i'm just throwing that up there for my next team we have Penn State, and if I'm being real with y'all, this one was hard for me to put because I really wanted to put SMU right there. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. I wanted to either put SMU or Colorado. I wanted to put them two in the top because I really do like those teams, but Penn State's only lost to Ohio State. They lost to Ohio State. Um, other than that, they've just been they've been steamrolling the competition. They just played a good team, and they lost. So I don't think Penn State is the number four team in the country like the – committee thinks they really think that they're number four which is crazy to me penn state i put penn state right there um next we have miami um i wonder why like, why why is miami right here to be honest they really should have more than one loss they should have like three losses because there's been like two games i think especially that virginia tech game where like they got bailed out by the refs like i'm just gonna call it how it is like they was they was they should have lost those games but they won so nine on one right now decent decent record um or good record actually so i'm gonna leave them at the 10th spot but for someone i got notre dame ahead of them for the simple fact that um notre dame they've been taking care of their games like ain't nothing crazy they've been taking care of business pretty really solid team and i do generally think that notre dame especially that defense that they got they got a great defense notre dame if they played miami uh, i don't know if Kim can be hero that game so we got notre dame number nine then for my next team I have, we have Indiana. Y'all know Indiana. The reason, the only reason why they're number eight to be real with y'all is because their strength of their schedule isn't the greatest, but it's just the fact that they're 10 and 0. They haven't lost a game yet and they've been taking care of business. And there's a sense of respect for being, the, the coach over there. He got that team, that team. Yeah, that's, I wouldn't say that they're a problem, but number eight, that's a solid place to have them. Solid team. Great team, actually. And the team that I have, y'all going to think I'm an SEC bias because the next couple of teams are in the SEC. But if you watch college sports, you just know the SEC is a gauntlet. Like, it's those teams are literally beating up on each other, and they're so good. And I generally, I generally think that what they need to do with the SEC is split those teams up because we're the only conference that is, is beating down each other like that. So next team I have is they lost last night. Tennessee. A lot of people might think Tennessee might drop further down the ranking because of their loss, but they lost to Georgia. They lost to a, a, a good school and they played a good game. Like the score didn't say doesn't say that like just by the eyeball test. But if you watch that game, 
they played a solid game. Especially the second, the, their first drive of the game when Nico led that, to, for one, a freshman doing that at Georgia is crazy. Led led the team 78 yards down the field and scored a touchdown. Solid, solid, solid. Um, Next team I got, Texas. I wonder why I got Texas here. And I'm probably wondering who is ahead of Texas. But the only reason why Texas is here, SEC school, but their schedule is, they don't have like, how to put this, their schedule isn't, their schedule is pretty easy besides the Georgia game. Besides Georgia, when they played Georgia and, and Georgia went to them and pretty much destroyed them, pretty much put 30 on their head, thraxed them, bullied them at home. I got to leave Texas here because the next team I added them is Georgia. And although um, Georgia has some struggles this season with, you know, offense and stuff like that, and Carson Beck throwing interceptions, when Carson Beck's playing, when he's playing pretty solid, when he's playing good, he's he's a, he's a, he's a great QB. I wouldn't say top five, probably like top 15, top 10 quarterback in the nation. But he's a, he's a, he's a great quarterback when it comes to when he's not turning the ball over. Like yesterday, he played very well. Like he, if he can keep playing like that, we can we we can win this we can win it all if he can keep playing like that we can dead win it all and another thing with Georgia we we start off we these slow starts is killing us since the beginning of the season we're a second half team we've been a second half team for the entire season and if we can just play if we can just play like that the whole game we we will be blowing out team like we wouldn't have lost to ten no we wouldn't have lost to who do we lose to we wouldn't have lost to Alabama. And we wouldn't have lost to Ole Miss, and that brings me to my next list, or next team, Ole Miss. Ole Miss is a pretty solid team. Like when I was now, when I was watching them play Georgia, but that defense is crazy. I don't really care for their offense. They have a pretty decent offense, and Jackson Dart, he he, he would, he's solid. But their defense, bro, oh my, it was like, bro, that bro Carson Beck had no time. Them pass rushers that they have, boy, oh boy. Next team I have. At number three, I hate to put them here because, you know, rivalry. We got Alabama. And y'all probably saying, like, bro, why is all these teams with two losses ahead of Texas and Indiana and Miami? For one, I'm just going to be, like, honest, like, the, the strength of schedule. And then BYU is just, that's not a good team to me, bro. They're solid. Penn State, I feel like. They haven't really played nobody either. I go by strength of schedule, especially with a team like Georgia. Their schedule was so difficult. Georgia and Florida. And I just seen Florida beat LSU yesterday. But I go by strength of schedule, and they have the hardest schedule in the country. And the fact that they have those two losses, two SEC teams by these two were great teams. If I'm being honest, if you take a lot of if you take a lot of these schools. Uh, that are in my like these SEC, SEC schools and you put them in you know different conferences they're going to dominate that conference but I have to show respect to Ohio State Ohio State solid 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 team that's a great team right there wide receiver you right there solid team I don't really got much to say about them and I don't got much to say about Oregon either because Oregon they've been taking care of business they've been going crazy a lot of people were saying like oh they're phony because they barely won yesterday but I don't think y'all understand how hard it is to keep blowing out your opponents and staying undefeated. That's you gonna have a game. It, it was just one of those games. That, that doesn't take they they are still undefeated. Uh, I might be saying the same thing. Like I'm contradicting myself with Indiana, but like I said, Indiana hasn't played nobody. Or, um. So this is my list. I want to see if you guys didn't agree with my list. Oregon, Ohio State, Alabama, Ole Miss, Georgia, Texas, Tennessee, Indiana, Notre Dame, Miami, Penn State, Colorado is my top twelve. And the team that slightly misses SMU and BRU. And I honestly, truly do think that SMU can sneak into the top 12 because I really do think Penn State, like these these, these three, like 11, 12, and 13, the only reason I call it was 12 because, you know, I got to show respect with Penn State. They, they only lost one game. Or they're um, undefeated, I think. Or no, no, they only lost one game. And it wasn't like a terrible loss. Um... It was to Ohio State. So, I got to show a little bit of respect there. But this is my list. And, yeah, I hope you guys agree with my list. I don't know if y'all will. Um, pretty controversial, I think. And, peace out.